Let me ask you some questions. Are you willing to give your consent to government to take away your right to life? No! What about your right to liberty? No! What about your right to the pursuit of happiness? No! What about your right to the free exercise of religion? No! What about your right to free speech? No! What about your right to peaceably assemble? No! What about your right to keep and bear arms? No! And what about your right to private property? No! Okay, we want to hear from some legislators that are willing to stand up and be counted for these values. First, I want to introduce a representative who, when consideration was given in the Idaho legislature to raise our fuel taxes by just two cents, she said, in floor debate, that is like throwing a drowning man a brick. <laughs> So this is a representative that believes genuinely in lower taxation for Idahoans. I want you to please give a Tea Party welcome to Representative Lenore Hardy Barrett. Right up to my mouth. Okay, here I go. And I am an older person who has watched the deterioration of our country for a number of years. I'm fed up, and uh, I'd like to be an extemporaneous speaker, but I'm not. I have notes. And I have notes because I don't want a rabbit trail. But I want to start with a reminder. Right up to my mouth, Lenore, okay. <laughs> Anyway, a reminder that Thomas Jefferson, author of the Declaration, wherever we've got it around here, said, I tremble for my country. I too tremble for my country. And beyond that, I weep for my children. I won't waste time examining in detail the egregious behavior of the federal government that unites us here today, but frankly, I'm mad as hell. The original Tea Party was a protest against taxation without representation. For my part, this Tea Party is a protest against taxation with misrepresentation. And the spending theft of my dollars by our current Congress and administration. who probably isn't here today, to listen up. I'm just going to make 10 points for you. Number one, Congress has abandoned the Constitution and wouldn't recognize it if it fell in their lap and called them daddy. <laughs> Bind them to the Constitution again. That's what we need to do and force them to get it right. And the other thing that I find very disturbing about Congress and probably the administration is they have become to assume the coloration of a monarchy, which is what our forefathers and those patriots gave their best blood to get out from under. And one of the first steps we need to take to start getting things right is to recognize that the Constitution establishes our monetary standard as precious metal, gold, the gold standard, but Congress has given us instead an unconstitutional and privately owned Federal Reserve Bank. If we continue to go, if we continue to go along with that, the government will continue to flood the market with paper devalue our dollar and drown us in inflation. Why? By artificially controlling the money supply, they control we, the people. That is their intent. Congress must abolish the Federal Reserve System. Yeah. 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 